Jesus recognized and responded to faith in those who came to him. So Jesus says this in response to what the centurion says. He says, just speak, Jesus. Say a word. And I know that my servant will be healed. And we read that in that very moment, in that very hour, the servant was healed. Jesus sometimes checked the faith of people. Do you believe that I am able to do this? God can do anything. Yet the norm is that God looks for our faith to do things in our lives. So whatever our faith is, God is saying, according to that, in proportion to that, you will see your miracles. God calls us to have faith even in hopeless situations. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Because God can change impossible situations. Jesus encouraged people many a time to act their faith. As they did what Jesus told them to do, they found that they were healed. So it required an action on the part of these 10 lepers to receive the promise of healing into their physical bodies. Jesus demonstrated that faith could affect nature. Jesus showed them that nature, weather, when inanimate things heed the voice of God, they heed the sound of faith. Think about the fig tree in Mark chapter 11. Jesus spoke to a tree. Well, that's really weird. And his disciples could have thought, oh, what kind of a man are we following? Here he's talking to the tree. He's, you know, talking to this and that. But Jesus knew the power of exercising faith through the spoken word. Jesus accommodated people outside his agenda simply because they had faith. So there are times when God will move sovereignly. Faith, even in someone who is outside of his children, he still responds. We find unbelievers get healed. Jesus helped people when they struggled with their faith. You know, he asks this man, do you believe that I can do this? And such an honest reply. This man says, God, Jesus, I believe, but please help my unbelief. Struggling with unbelief. But Jesus did not rebuke him. He didn't say, Oh, there's unbelief in your heart. Don't come to me. Not at all. In fact, Jesus answered his request. There were times when Jesus healed and worked miracles independent of individuals' faith. And people could have asked the question, you are teaching about faith, Jesus. Excuse me, how much faith did this man have? God doesn't owe us an explanation. No, he works the way he works, sometimes independent of the faith of people. God still gives them their miracles. Jesus rebuked his disciples for being of little faith. When we look at the challenges and make them bigger than the nature of God and the power of God, you know, God looks at us and we, we could probably just hear him say the same thing. Why are you fearful? Oh, you of little faith. If only you had faith, you could do something about this very situation. But we read that he couldn't do many miracles there. When people did not put their faith in him, you know, we see that Jesus could not do many miracles. 